It is January the 29th, 2021, and we are out at the Golden Ray Rec site today uh, trying to bring you guys a little bit of video. Hey, welcome aboard Menorcan Mullet. I'm Andy, and uh, we've had a lot of new subscribers to the channel, and we just wanted to share with this. If you guys are coming on board uh, kind of late into this thing, the only real way to get the whole story of the Golden Ray and its salvage is to scan back through the videos, start down at the bottom, and start working your way back up. And try to try to do that where you can kind of understand what's going on and uh, the saga that's been going on out here. Uh, it makes for an interesting story. And as you can see, the, the operation progress, it makes... Uh, a lot of uh, it brings a lot of understanding uh, to what's going on now uh, as we see this operation uh, really uh, full tilt and ongoing as it is now so uh, do yourself a favor and go back and look at those videos and uh, I think you'll uh, really have a deeper appreciation for the salvage operation and what's going on with the Golden Ray thanks now today out at the site it was a little cool um, a little bit of a wind coming out of the the north uh, made for a really nice blue sky but chilly temperatures and we saw some cutting going on today it's good to see that the guys are kind of back in the groove a little bit a um, couple things we noticed today out at the site and we're gonna we're gonna bring all that to you what we saw today what we noticed but one thing uh, we did really enjoy was the sunshine and to see the see the sun kind of dancing off the arches of the golden Ray, of the uh, VB 10,000 while it was doing its cutting thing on the golden ray was a welcome sight now they're making pretty good progress and we could kind of see that as we we got around uh, on the the stern of the golden ray and you can see that the, the chains are kind of moving up, especially the one that's on the offshore side, um, opposite of the um, keel, if you will, of the Golden Ray. It really looks like it's making pretty good progress uh, through that, that material. The, the chain, as we've seen in the past, it works trying to work its way on the uh, inshore side or the west side, working through that uh, thicker uh, bottom hull material of the Golden Ray. Uh, seems to be uh, a little slower. It's working a little harder. Of course, this section that they're cutting uh, contains that uh, massive diesel engine, uh, the main propulsion unit of the uh, Golden Ray, and it's going to be included in this in this section when it's lifted. Uh, there was speculation earlier if, if that chain would be used to cut through the main engine, um, but no. That's not going to happen. It's uh, th that piece should come out hull uh, as a complete unit when they uh, get through cutting through the hull, and uh, when it's lifted and placed on the barge. Again, that barge is waiting in the Port of Brunswick for this section to be cut, and it'll be brought out by the Crosby tugs and pushed into position, uh, and we'll receive uh, this this portion. And again, we'll probably see the same same uh, thing we've seen in the past. That that piece will go into Brunswick and be sea fastened, and then shipped over to the recycling uh, facility for the ships in uh, Gibson, Louisiana. A lot of tension on the lines again uh, today. And again, we noticed that the it looked like the VB was kind of pulled back to the stern a little bit of the Golden Ray. Um, that could be in designed that way to help help with the cutting and moving that chain where it needs to be. Um, we we got in and we could we could see that those those cables again that one particularly on the offshore side really looks like it's making some headway and starting to really get into the to, to the meat, if you will, of the uh, Golden Ray. Now, the uh, we've had some requests for video of the actual cutting, and for those of you that have been following following along and seeing this, you know it's 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 a very slow process under 
incredible amounts of um, tension on that hardened anchor chain that is cutting through the VB. But the system works as, as ugly as it is, it does cut through. Now we did notice today that dive operations were ongoing uh, in the area of the, the uh, number three chain. And this was kind of unique in that we have not seen divers in the water before while cutting operations uh, were ongoing. Um, it's probably happened, we just we've never seen it. And we just thought it was noteworthy uh, to put up and show you guys that they do have dive operations ongoing while cutting is is happening now. Of course, they're away from the end where the chain is cutting through the hull. They're more towards the bow, but yeah, they're in the water and getting the, getting that job done. Uh, one thing, another we noticed was the uh, uh, inside the environmental barrier today. They had uh, more oil boom placed around inside. Uh, maybe this is anticipating something else that's going there and. Uh, thinking is going to happen with possibly cutting into a tank, but uh, maybe a little bit more precaution, but notice this as well. Now, for those of you who have requested uh, to see the chain cutting, they can't see the chain cutting. Well, this is our attempt at trying to make that happen. Uh, we took some stills at two minute intervals and tried to splice them together here so you guys could see this. The chain moves really slow. And then we also shot some video and tried to speed it up um, where you might be able to see this happening. It's, it's about a 10 minute loop to make a stroke on the chain. And from our vantage point, it's really hard to, to actually see the chain moving without the help of uh, some time lapse. Uh, so that we hope that this helps those of you who uh, wanna see the chain moving or, or really don't believe it is moving. It actually is. It's very slow in its movement, but under tremendous pressure. And you can kind of see those those huge blocks. And, then, and to try to put this in perspective, uh, the blocks that the uh, chains are attached to there are, uh, are, are roughly the size of a subcompact car. They're huge. And uh, any movement at all is quite a bit of movement. You can, you can imagine this. The, the total height of the, the VB10,000 is uh, roughly 255 feet tall, and uh, it's, it's wider than a cargo ship laying on its side. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a pretty significant amount of movement. It's just really hard to see it up close, and it does move really slow. Well, hey, that's about all we've got. We hope you've enjoyed it. We're asked that you, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Send us some comments. We enjoy getting comments. Love, love seeing where you folks are from. It's, that's really, it's really crazy to see the global impact this little bit of video has had on people. Hey, you guys stay safe out there.